Right, hello. So in today's video, I thought that I would share my results so far in terms of weight loss. Now I was debating whether to film this video when I actually reach my goal weight, but then that is probably like a little bit far away. And also I have lost enough weight now for me to be able to share like the pros and cons of the plan that I'm doing and also like tips and tricks and things like that because when I first started it I had like a completely different approach to what I'm doing now and why I'm losing weight quicker now than I was before so I am going to be rambling on like quite a bit at the start but I will leave a time to skip to if you just want to see the before and after pictures and like the results pictures because I know that some people don't want to listen to all this and that's fine so I will leave that on the screen now the time to skip to but I am going to be like waffling on quite a bit and it will be quite a long video because I want to like justify why I'm losing weight and like explain everything and talk about it because it's the kind of topic that people get like offended about when you talk about it. Also, I just wanted to add in a quick disclaimer at the beginning of this video that I am doing what I do. Like this is my lifestyle choice and what I'm doing and obviously everybody's different. This is not me saying that you have to do what I'm doing to lose weight. This is just me saying this is what I found having followed Alexandra's Happy Body Plan, my results and what I found and how I've changed and adapted things to me. A lot of people are different. Some people weigh more, some people weigh less. Their height is, you know, taller than other people and everything that everyone is different. So if you've got any questions or any kind of messages whether it's positive or negative then I would much prefer you message me on Instagram and I will respond to you on my main Instagram. My main Instagram is in the description. It's always linked in the description. I do have two Instagrams, one's for my website and one's for um, just my personal Instagram. Message me on my personal one and I will get back to you whether it's positive or negative. Any questions are welcomed and I will always reply. Okay? I have briefly explained like why I wanted to lose weight in the first place and it is because I did gain some weight and when you go from being a certain size and then you increase weight you will obviously remember how you was back then and therefore you know I felt like I wanted to be back how I was. I used to be like although I wasn't a sporty person and I never did like any like clubs or something like my brother was like doing badminton clubs and he'd go off and play tennis like I'm not that kind of person but I would always love doing my at home workouts and you know like squats and jumping up in the air and on the floor and all that sort of stuff I like that because it's like on my own and things so I've always liked that and I was quite fit and healthy a good few years ago but then when I came to uni I sort of like went down a little bit and Oh my god, how can I see them? Oh right, I could see people in my mirror but I didn't know where it was. It's okay, I'll put that mirror down because it's just going to freak me out. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I went to uni I did gain some weight and it's not necessarily a bad thing if you're fine with that but for me it was just like, you know, you're not as fit and active and as healthy when I weighed more and the reason why I gained weight, well, I wasn't necessarily like the happiest when I first started uni. I, like I was, I do like uni, it's nothing to do with uni, but it's just like the situation in your life and how I felt and like my mind. And like 2019 wasn't like the best year to start with anyway. So I'm now a lot better and a lot happier and that's why I can lose weight. Cause I think when you're a lot like happier, then you can, you know put time and effort into things like that so i did gain some pounds and what well, i say pounds i did gain a fair amount i, I don't really know exactly how much because i never used to weigh myself and the reason why i never used to weigh myself was because the scales in our um bed in our bedroom in our house at home were terrible you'd get on three seconds later get on again and it tells you half a stone difference so i just never went by those because there's no point oh by the way this is water with oh it was meant to have ice in it, but it's just melted anyway. So just thought I'd let you know that it's not like vodka or something. I never really like tracked my weight. I always had the opinion of if you're like happy with how you look, then that's all that matters. You don't need to like be a certain weight. But I think when you see yourself every single day, you don't notice small changes. You don't notice necessarily that you're gaining weight or anything like that. And if you did weigh yourself, then the scales are, are not gonna lie. You know, they're gonna tell you the truth. So 
that's probably something that I would recommend is that if you don't weigh yourself then you probably should unless you're the kind of person that gets obsessed with looking at numbers in terms of like the scales and if they go up by one pound you're like giving up or crying or something because trust me the scales will fluctuate throughout the whole of like you losing weight. I decided I wanted to lose weight when I I think it was like cr Christmas time like I did kind of actually that's a lie I wanted I've wanted to lose weight probably like my whole life but I mean like properly like I needed to pay for a plan to help me out and um, was at the start of this year because I've always been able to exercise I've always been able to motivate myself to do workouts and to you know stick to something but I just didn't have the knowledge of calories or I didn't have the knowledge of like what foods I should eat and everything so I decided to join Alexandra's plan because I knew that she had like started at a weight that wasn't you know awful or anything like it was an okay weight and she just lost a couple of stone so I thought you know what like this is like something for me to do and I did pay for the plan Alexandra's happy body plan this year anyway I bought the plan and I was really motivated to do it I do know that some people that have bought the plan because you do get put in this group there's like 16,000 people in this Facebook group now but when you get put in there everyone can talk and stuff and obviously um but a lot of people claim like or say i bought the plan and i haven't done it or i haven't even started it and it's been a month if you buy the plan then why the hell are you not started it like how has it been a month since you buying it like surely when you buy it you want to start it like if you don't want to start the plan then don't buy it i think that's probably like a good tip there because you are wasting your money and you will have to pay for the monthly subscription when it ends after 120 days so make sure you're ready to start it and also i was excited to start it if you leaving it a month after like you're not clearly like in the right headspace to lose weight i was really excited to get going the next day straight away and maybe it's because i don't know they looked at the plan and they didn't really like the food choices but at the end of the day you can adapt things to your personal taste you don't have to add everything that they say you don't have to do everything that they say as long as you're sticking within your calories so i will just sort of reiterate what the plan is slightly and then I will tell you what I was doing to start with and like how much weight I lost and then I will tell you um what I've been doing recently so what they say is that you should be having you know this is a rough guide but they're saying that you should have 1400 calories a day and that includes 300 calories for your breakfast 400 calories for lunch 500 calories for your tea or dinner whatever you say and um, and then 200 calories for snacks in the day. Now, when I looked at that, I thought, okay, I need to like move stuff around here a little bit because I need more calories for snacks. I did kind of stick to that sort of like layout to start with and I did um, like manage to do that fine. But I'm the kind of person that would rather have smaller meals so that I can have a few more snacks. And when I say snacks, I don't necessarily mean like chocolate or like biscuits or anything like that like i will eat those as well but i also mean things like um a bit of toast or like some fruit or something like that just because i like to tie myself through until my next meal and i don't like to feel really full when i eat a meal so therefore i can eat a little bit less than somebody else might want to so i did kind of move that around but i did stick to 1400 calories and when i did i probably stuck to it for about five or six days out of the week um i lost about two pounds per week doing that and that includes a treat day so where i would just not track anything i wouldn't track my calories i wouldn't track what i was eating or anything like that um i would just sort of eat what i wanted but don't binge because that's just stupid like you can end up putting on weight if you do that so don't binge but just don't like restrict yourself on that day it kind of gives your brain a rest from counting calories and it just makes you i don't know your body like used to dealing with a little bit more calories i don't know i don't know how it works but it was fine for me and I did kind of stick for that a while and I lost about six seven eight pounds ish I think probably like seven ish pounds and then I kind of got to the point where like my motivation was going down a little bit like I was still motivated but not like I would get to the end of the day and then I would feel hungry and want some snacks but I wasn't actually hungry like I was just telling myself I was hungry so instead of like um just being like oh okay I'll just not have anything I would think oh I'm hungry so I'm just gonna have a snack and then once you've had that snack you've gone over your calories and then you think oh I might as well have this then and then you end up going over by quite a lot still it wasn't me like 
binging or anything like it was me still eating like the same calories to maintain my weight so I would still be maintaining my weight and that's what I did for basically two weeks I just maintained the same weight or I'd lose a few pounds put a few pounds on etc um that doesn't demotivate me that doesn't you know make me think oh I need to start again from the beginning because what I do is in the plan that they say that you should do uh, workout one week once every day for a week workout two every day for the second week etc until week 12 i don't do that i mix them up so workout one day one workout two day two and the reason why i do that is because i was following how they suggested in the first place i was getting bored with that and i just thought i need to mix this up and i actually look forward to doing the workouts now each day and i do enjoy them i do also do my own little routine but i will talk about my exercise a little bit later on in this video um but we're just sort of talking about food right now so yeah 1400 calories is what they kind of aimed for you to stick to and i did stick to that until like i kind of maintained so i lost about seven pounds doing that and then maintained for a while then i thought you know what i need to do something that's going to motivate me again and it's going to get me back in the swing of things and i thought maybe if i get quicker results i would be a little bit more motivated and i know that some people have gone down to 1200 calories and that is the absolute minimum that you should go down to when you're trying to lose weight shouldn't really go any less than that because you know your body needs calories you can end up messing up like your metabolism messing up hormones in your body so you don't want to go any lower than that you can still lose weight fine with 1200 and some other people claim that 1200 is way too low but you know that's your personal opinion the reason why i decided to move it down mainly was because i'd gotten to the point where i had made my meals and what i was eating quite small anyway and the calories in my meals were about 200 and something so that meant that i was having like i could literally have like 600 calories for my snacks or like even sometimes 700 or more actually for my snacks and i was thinking actually why am i snacking so much when i might as well not snack and then lose a little bit more weight quicker so i kept my meals being the same and the reason why i can make my meals quite low in calorie is because they are quite healthy like if you're the kind of person that can't have um like vegetables or you can't eat like eggs or anything like that then you know you're basically screwed if you want to try and eat 1200 calories because you won't be able to have that much food there is a lot of calories in carbs and things however i do still eat carbs every single day but what i'm saying is if you're eating like chocolate and crisps like there's like in a packet of crisps there's about half the amount of calories that i have in one entire meal so can you understand how that can take up loads of calories in the day that is something that i would have on a treat day um so yeah definitely make sure that your calories in the day are coming from good healthy foods because then you can eat more and your body is not feeling like it's starving because that is the important thing if you're feeling like faint or if you're feeling ill then obviously you need to sort of reassess what you're doing and just making sure that you're getting enough protein and carbs and all that kind of thing i don't really track that too much because i just know that roughly i am having an okay amount of stuff i know that some people like to sort of have 50 percent carbs um 25 fat and 25% protein or whatever I don't really track that necessarily but I just make sure that I roughly know that I'm not just eating the same thing all day so I think that's important oh my camera's just turning off oh great now my battery's low might have to do a little break so I decided to move down to 1200 because I just felt like I could and I was in the position where I could do that and i did and i ha have not looked back since like literally i find it so much easier to stick to 1200 calories than i ever have done sticking to 1400 i think it's because the results are much quicker i literally was losing a pound every single day doing that and i, I still am sticking to that what i would say is because that is quite low make sure that you do have a treat day not a binge day because that's not good a treat day so a day where you're eating what 2000 calories and you're just maintaining your weight or maybe a few extra if you want um so that you're allowing yourself things that you maybe wouldn't allow yourself in the week now 
This is something that is for a short period of time. Obviously, when you reach your goal weight, you can up your calories and just have a little bit more. So you're not restricting yourself. This isn't something I'm gonna be doing forever. I would never, ever, ever stick to 1,200 calories because you will end up being too thin and not healthy and messing up with everything that's going on inside your body. Um, so I'd only recommend it if you do just wanna lose weight a little bit quicker. So I have lost the majority of my weight when I went down to 1,200 calories and now I have lost 13.5 pounds so far which is basically um, 0.5 pounds off of a stone. I never thought I would actually be able to lose weight because I've never really tracked my calories properly before or really understood it and I have now so I will start to talk about my progress and everything and results and stuff like that in a second um, but I'm going to talk about exercise. So. I follow the plan every single day. I will do an alternating the workout. So day one, workout one, day two, workout two. That's about eight to 10 minutes. And then I will do my own little routine that I've made up in my head because I've followed loads of YouTube videos over the years doing workouts and I know which exercises are better for me or which ones are quite hard. So I just kind of do about an eight minute routine um, of really intense exercises. So for example, Monday I would do my workout from the plan and then I would do eight minutes of intense ab exercises. And then day two will be bum exercises, day three will be arm exercises, and then day four, thigh. And then I would just repeat that sequence again. I also do running, so I, d I used to go out for a run, but since the coronavirus thing and everyone's staying at home, I thought I would just stay in my kitchen and do that. Obviously, I could go outside if I wanted to, but I just decided to stay in the kitchen, and I actually quite like that. Um, so I run three times a week, and that's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and it's 20 minutes, go in the kitchen, on the spot, and I watch a YouTube video that's 20 minutes long, and I will film a whole video about exercise and everything like that, like in a few weeks but I run on my tiptoes. Now, the day after I started running, my legs and my calves we were in so much pain, I could like barely walk down the stairs. It was not good. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not used to this because I never used to get pain when I used to run on the streets, but that's because I used to run with a flat foot. When I'm in the kitchen on my toes, I'm running on my toes. So obviously that's gonna strengthen your calves and hurt them a little bit. So that's what I noticed anyway. And now I'm fine. And I enjoy it and I've noticed a lot of a difference since I started running and my legs have toned up a lot more since I was been doing that so I do actually quite enjoy that so that is literally it for exercise in terms of walking I don't know me and Jamie might go for a little walk in the day or something but other than that not too much I don't you know think about steps or anything because I'm mainly just at home and I'm still seeing results so that is my exercise and my eating obviously I've done what I eat in a days on my channel but that was following 1400 calories there is going to be a few what I eat in a days coming that that are lower in calorie and obviously if you get triggered by me eating like low calories then don't watch the video because I'm just not bothered about people that just want to put hate comments or anything like that because whenever someone puts a hate comment I just block you so you won't be able to comment again um, or you won't be able to see my videos ever again either. So I am now going to take a little break because my camera is low on charge and I will probably have my lunch and then I will come back and I will talk about my results and progress pictures and everything like that and then end the video. Okay I am back. I literally just went and had my lunch and let my battery charge up a little bit. Also, I am sorry about the background being like this. I don't usually film downstairs, I usually film upstairs, but I'm filming downstairs today. I am gonna talk about my results. So if you've skipped to this part, I basically had just explained what food I eat, well, not what food I eat, how many calories I eat, and why I changed that up a little bit, and also exercise and things like that, and why I decided to lose weight. So I'm just gonna go on my phone and I'm literally gonna find um, the pictures so that I can remind myself and I will put them up on the screen. I don't like pretty much all of the pictures apart from the one that I took the other day because I'm starting to get some progress. I do have a lot of pictures um, from my progress. I don't have one every week because like I said I didn't 100% stick to it every week so therefore I wouldn't take a picture if I didn't 100% stick to it. Oh by the way if you can hear anything it's probably Jamie on the Xbox upstairs um, if you can just hear some right shooting or something in the background. But I'm gonna try and find the first. Okay, so I'll try and put this on the screen as I'm talking, otherwise 
you won't know what I'm on about, but I did take my first picture. So this picture that's on the screen now is my first picture that I took before I started the plan. Now, as you can see, I was not happy with how I looked and I was not happy with how I felt. I didn't feel fit enough. I didn't feel like I could easily just go for a run or like I was strong, like I used to be so much stronger and fitter. And when I do gain weight, and some people say that this is better than other sort of areas of the body, but I do gain weight on my thighs and my bum rather than like all over. And I would kind of rather gain it all over, but I know that some people will gain it on the top half and they've got stick thin legs that kind of thing like it's everyone is different and people lose weight at different times and if you're trying to lose weight and you're like angry that the specific area that you want to target is not you know getting any smaller that's because often when you gain weight in a certain area first like where the weight is gained first it is actually last to come off so patience is key but yeah i did take this picture and at the time that was just how i looked i was used to it but now looking back i'm like I do look a lot different now being like basically a stone lighter. So that was my first picture. By the way, I wouldn't usually have posted anything like this on my social media. I wouldn't usually have shared anything like this on like YouTube or anything like that. But it's just because um, I wanted to do this video and I wanted to show you my progress and that is all that this is and I do not welcome any hate thank you very much then I took my week one picture so this was after week one and I did actually notice like quite a bit of difference in just week one like you might not be able to notice yeah sorry about the shooting upstairs um but you may not be able to notice like a massive massive difference because it is literally just one week but I think because it is one week there is still like some good difference there and my waist was a lot thinner already and this is following Alexandra's plan, plan with 100, uh, 100, oh my god I'd be dead, um, 1400 calories um, so yeah my waist is a bit thinner, my legs were a little bit thinner and so was my arms and that was just from one week and that was including a treat day so I was pretty good, I'm happy with that. By the way I always weigh myself in the morning I always take pictures um, in the morning as well like just so that you can compare at the same time so if you're weighing yourself at the same time um, on different days then you know that you're comparing against like you know no, there's no, not going to be any other factors that will influence that for example eating food or anything so that was week one then I think I've got a picture of like week one and two so yeah I've got the start week one and then week two so as you can see for week two there wasn't like too much difference I was still sticking to the plan I feel like my arms were a little bit thinner that week and I, I do notice the difference there actually um, my abs were starting to come on a little bit more and maybe my legs were a tiny bit thinner but I think in that picture the most I can like make a difference of was definitely my arms so that was the end of week two and then so i put up another picture we've got the start versus week two and week three so if we just compare week two and three you can't really see a difference if anything i thought that i looked a bit thinner in week two than week three despite having lost a little bit of weight um on that week um, but often, you know, camera angles can make things look different, etc. So, yeah, I think with that one, there wasn't really much change. And this is when I did start to um, kind of maintain my weight. I didn't really lose anything. I was losing a little bit of motivation, but not really. Like, I'm not the kind of person that gets demotivated like that easily. I just thought, you know, I wasn't the greatest, but I didn't binge. Okay, so I think this is week four, but I'm not... 100% sure yeah it is week four so yeah this is the picture of week four on its own with no comparisons sorry I didn't do a comparison of the previous week now in this picture I did start to notice quite a lot of difference and I did notice that I was just a bit thinner generally all over and my legs were a lot thinner and still I'd only lost about sort of five six pounds at this point still probably like six or seven pounds at this point actually and I didn't look you know too much different but I did look a lot different to my first picture this plan does work it is slow and steady when you stick into your 1400 calories and you have treat days like me so you do have to bear in mind that I, I I didn't restrict myself I still had treats here or there then I did take another picture and I think I yeah you can't see in that one okay now I've got another picture here I think this must have been week five and it is really hard to see because there's massive shining light which I don't think that's why I didn't use it again in this picture I didn't really notice a difference from the previous week I think it's very similar 
and there wasn't much change and this was probably when I was sort of maintaining my weight but I still wanted to take the picture. Then here is another one. I think this m must have been like week six or seven maybe or something like that. I think it must have been. So I'll show that now. Um, but yeah, this is what I looked like. There was... Again, I couldn't see too much difference. In myself, I could notice that my collarbone was a lot more like thinner, like my collarbone was thinner. You can't do that. Um, that this area was thinner here, like along my shoulders and that sort of thing. Um, I did notice that within myself, but you can't really tell too much of a difference. We come to my more recent photos. So this is like a before and after. Um, or I'll, sh I'll show you the picture on its own. So this is the picture that I am kind of now. I did take this picture a few days ago and basically this is me when I was 12 pounds down and when I started to cut down to 1,200 calories. So from the previous photo that I've just shown you, that was when I was doing like 1,400 plus accidental snacking and this one is sticking to the plan of 1,200 calories and I do notice a massive difference and um, my waist is a lot thinner, my legs are a lot thinner and I'm just very happy with that. So I, since taking that picture, have actually lost another uh, 1.5 pounds so in total I've lost 13.5 pounds which is 0.5 off a stone which I'm really happy about. So I did weigh myself this morning as well and I did measure that. I do weigh myself every two days. Some people would think that's quite a lot. Um, however, I, I see results quite quickly with the 1,200 so I like to just keep track of it and make sure that I am on, like on it. I am gonna be continuing with this plan and I am gonna be continuing. I still have weight to lose. Like I said, this is just a so far my results video. Hopefully it's been helpful. But yeah, I am gonna be continuing with it and powering through. There is still weight I wanna lose. I do have like a specific goal in mind, but I do know that when I get to like where I'm happy, I will know anyway. So I don't have to have that exact number on the scale for me to be happy. I just know like roughly where I'll be happy. So I will continue. I am gonna be sticking to the 1,200 calories for I think, you know, pretty much every day if I, like have a barbecue or something obviously just me and jamie because that's who i live with um then i'll have a little treat but just try not to like have treat days every day do you know what i mean so if you want to see results basically and it is important to still have a treat day but i think that is everything basically so overall with the plan like my opinion of alexandra's plan and everything i do really like the plan and i am really happy with it I like the fact that it is quite motivational in the group that I'm in. There has been some quite negativities recently in that group and I think that just comes with the fact that there's quite a lot of people in there. There is like 16,000 people in there so of course there's going to be some people being negative and all that kind of thing but the majority of people are really nice and I think that's what we need to remember. So I am excited to carry on. I'm really motivated still when you see results the motivation will just pull you through to carry on to the end and that's exactly what I am going to do and then I will film a video where I film like my end result and what I am at the end and everything like that and just what I'm happy with and you will see that video. So if you've got any questions, ask them in the comments. I might do like a weight loss Q&A if um, people wanna see that because I don't know what people want to know. So I am gonna do that. And yeah, actually I think I will do a weight loss Q&A. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them in that video. And I think that's about everything. Um, but yeah, I do love the plan. Workouts are good really love them and i love the system that i've got into so yeah please give the video a thumbs up subscribe i am going to be making a lot more what eight in a day videos and updated how i'm losing weight on my q a all that kind of thing so stay subscribed and i will see you soon goodbye